Tonight at the Detroit Auto Show, Ford released the new 2024 Ford Mustang. It's quite possibly the last new V8-powered American car you're going to be able to buy. While Ford is still moving firmly into the EV age, they're bringing out what is possibly the last new V8-powered American car. The Mustang's primary competition, the Challenger and the Camaro, are likely going electric in the next iteration. And while the Charger and the 300C are the only sedans left with a V8 option under $90,000, 2023 is their final model year. Recognizing that, Ford has made the Mustang GT's 5-liter V8 more powerful than ever. Horsepower numbers weren't released yet, but Ford claims that its new Coyote 5.0 will be the most powerful naturally aspirated V8 ever in a Mustang. The Mustang EcoBoost will be offered with an all-new 2.3-liter 4-cylinder turbocharged engine for non-GT models. Again, Ford has not yet released power figures, but an expect an increase over the 330 horsepower and 350 pound-foot of torque that the current unit can produce on premium gas. Both engines can be paired with a 6-speed manual or 10-speed automatic transmission regardless of the body style chosen. Both GT and EcoBoost models can be optioned with a performance pack that includes a front tower brace, torsion limited slip differential, and an additional optional MagnaRide active suspension, wider tires and wheels, and larger Brembo brakes. Additionally, the GT performance pack adds brake cooling ducts and an auxiliary engine oil cooler. Additional options for the GT Performance Pack are available Recaro seats and an active exhaust. When equipped with the manual transmission, the GT includes standard rev matching that holds engine speed while the clutch is engaged to maintain peak torque between shifts. Drivers can now rev their engine without even being in their Mustang with the new remote rev feature built into the key fob. The interior has been completely rethought with a new jet fighter inspired flight deck. The driver oriented cockpit has two curved screen displays. Ford used video game 3D technology based on the Unreal Engine to develop animation displays on the highly customizable 12.4 inch instrument cluster. The driver can optionally set the cluster to flow seamlessly into a 13.2 inch curved infotainment system featuring Sync 4. The new standard color theme inside is no longer the traditional light blue, light gray, and has moved to a new copper color theme. Settings can be adjusted by simply swiping and rotating the car on the display. Mustang EcoBoost comes standard with cloth seats with optional micro suede vinyl inserts. Premium models gain synthetic leather seats in several color options while the GT gets leather inserts. Sync 4 has Amazon Alexa built in and is compatible with both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. 2024 Mustang will be available in 11 color options, 3 available wheel sizes, and 3 colors of Brembo calipers when that option is selected. The EcoBoost and GT models each get unique front clips with the GT getting larger and more aggressive grille openings and additional hood vents. The convertible body style remains with a compact top that can be activated with one touch. When stowed, the top leaves enough room in the trunk for two golf bags. All Mustang models come equipped with Ford Copilot 365, which includes speed sign recognition, intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering assist, evasive steer assist, and reverse brake assist. Included in the performance package is an active pothole mitigation which continuously monitors body inputs to soften the blow of a pothole. The all-new Mustang will be built at Ford's Flat Rock Assembly Plant in Flat Rock, Michigan, and will go on sale in summer of 2023. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new 7th generation Ford Mustang.